So I'd like to take just a few seconds to give you some numbers to think about in a take on outside of what um, Mars will be talking about today. I would like to remind people that there's over 35 million people now currently living with HIV in this in the world, right? Here in the U.S., we have about 1.2 million people who are HIV positive, and 12 to 15 percent of those are unaware of their HIV diagnosis. The CDC also estimates that almost 700,000 people have died of AIDS since this time, in this country since the beginning of that epidemic. That's a horrible number. But there's been over 700,000 people who have died of AIDS since this time. Um, here we also know that in this country, in the United States, that over 50,000 brain infections happen every year in this country. Uh, so 50,000 brain HIV infections every year in this country. Out of all those 1.2 million I talked about, walking around with HIV right now, the people are infected, 50% of those folks live here in the US, live here in the South. The South has almost half of all the new cases of HIV and those who live with HIV. This is not a West Coast disease, a North East disease, this is squarely here in the South. Also, the Georgia range right now, fourth in the nation for the number of new cases of HIV every year. We stay around four or five almost all the time. As far as cases, numbers, not rates, numbers. But the only states that have more than us every year are usually California, New York, and Florida. And then it's us, and maybe sometimes we don't have cases. So we're, we're not doing that well. HIV is not just also a big city disease. Um, the rural areas of Georgia, including our health district, um, have very high rates of HIV compared to the number of people who actually live here. While our numbers are not high, our rates per person are incredibly high. In South Macon, it's higher than you think, except for right around the whole county area. So this is not contained just the Atlanta or Savannah or Maine. Also, something people need to realize is HIV is not a young person's disease, a gay disease, or an HIV user disease. HIV affects people from all walks of life. With that said, HIV does affect those that are the most vulnerable, though, at a much greater rate than our nation and our country and our area. Okay? Or those without power, those who are minority, those who are mentally ill, those who are homeless, those who are abused, those who are bullied, those who are whom sexuality and or gender identity are different from the majority. Add stigma to this disease, and you have a deadly disease that literally kills people every day through ignorance and fear. This year's theme for World Days Day is the time to act is now. They kind of relate them out to do. So the time to act is now. I would like to say that we maybe want to change that a bit, but not I think another way to say this is that there's still a lot to act on, and the time is now. Right. Um, okay, without further ado, um, let me go ahead and introduce our future speaker. Um, Mars Holloman is here with another guest. Um, Mars is a 16 year old high school student from Barron County, just up the road. Y'all know the area well. Oh, that's Thank you. 
platform to bring attention to the struggles that many LGBT still face. I'm thrilled that with all the other honorees, we share the stage with this part of the He um, has been a force of change in that small corner of rural Georgia, facing down the relentless opposition to family protests in that area and defend their right to me. Please um, um, help us.